Go what you want. So one of y'all that's for missing tutorials. So that's what we on today, man. Let's do it. She might break the jack. This is big ass boy. This is Molly Price. Break the jack. Free shirty. Send him back. Oh no no no. Send him back. Send him back to you. Big ass boy. This is Molly Price. Break the jack. Free shirty. Send him back. Oh no no no. Send him back. Send him back to you. I'm touching you. First thing I always do, anytime I hit the mixer, anytime I got anything in the mixer, I always go EQ first. Always like to cut out the low end, because this is where the 808s is going to be hitting on the lower end. So I always like to just, even though this isn't really hitting exactly where the 808s is going to be hitting, 808s usually hit around like 20 to 50, 50 to 100. It's usually where the 808s be hitting. I like to just, just out of habit, I just like to clean it up just a little bit. I like to cut it around here, around 50 hertz. Right here. That's all I do for my piano. Level it, turn it up some. So what I'm doing over here is I'm stereo separating. You can see over here when I'm doing it over here. A little stereo separation just widens it out, widens it out in the ears and the headphones. Just makes it more wide. And then with this one. I'm gonna just level it, EQ it, put on 50 hertz, and just lower it. EQ. Y'all see it's taking up a lot of the low end, gotta cut that out. Otherwise, your mix is gonna be muddy. And the reason why I be cutting out the low end, because if you just leave, a whole bunch of low end from the melody. The 808s aren't gonna be able to punch through. It's gonna sound muddy. It's just going the mix isn't gonna be clean. So you want to make sure you're cutting out low end. And then another thing I like to do when it comes to noise escapes is I'll hit shaper box, go to pan. Uh, this one right here, two bar. So as y'all can see right here, it's painted from one side to the other side, one side to the other side. So when it's higher over here, that means it's on the right side. And when it goes up here, it's going on the left side. And what this does, it pans it from both sides. You can see a visual map over here too. So it's mostly on this side of the ear, now it's on this side of the ear, now it's mostly on this side of the ear. I don't want it to be too noticeable, but I just want it to be on some ear candy shit. So I'm saying, as long as we're ear candy shit, I'm gonna slow it down too. I'm gonna make it on some four bars so it slows down. So pan slower rather than pan, 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 pan. Turn it up to like 70. This is subtle shit though. Probably ain't even really gonna notice, but if you notice, you notice. It's on some little ear candy shit. This is what really separates you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, this really, really separates you, because not everybody doing this. You have your own little, own little sauce, own little ear candy, own little, own little flavor to it, you know what I'm saying? This is just some like little flavor you could do. Some shit I like doing. Then just level it. With no escapes, I like to tuck it around and tuck it in the background. Don't want it overpowering, just because it's not even a note, it's not really in a melodic element, it's just it's just some texture shit. Helps add to that dark, evil ambience, you know what I'm saying? So just tuck it in the background like that. Just gonna EQ it, level it. I really want this widened out. Cause this is just like a little, this is like my little thing I be doing. So I'm just widening it out. So that it really fills up the ear on uh, either side of it. So with this one, I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of reverb. It really already has reverb on it. Cause it's so ambient, it's already a pad. I'm just add a tad bit more reverb on it though. Tuck it in the background a little bit.
So we Q doesn't need any cube I'm still gonna throw it on there. And then next for this Gotta throw a reverb on this. I'm gonna go heavy on the reverb. Throw some more decay on it so the reverb lasts longer. That's what the decay does. Makes the reverb last longer, that's what that is, the five second. Or just a little bit of delay, turn the output wet a little bit down so it's not as noticeable. I'm gonna turn this up, just level it out, turn it up some more. Since it's the main vocal, I want this shit to punch through, so I'm gonna turn the leveling up. Might hit it with some shaper box too. Let me see what um halftime will sound like on this. Let me see what halftime will sound like. This one has too much high end, so I'm gonna cut this one out. I'm gonna cut this one out. This one has too much high end. Let me wait for it to come back in. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys a technique right here. This is a good way to cut out. Cut, if you need to cut out certain frequencies, you can do this. So, let me go back to the original. So, what you wanna do, I'm scrolling down on my my mouse wheel so y'all see there's a color right here now it's empty it's on zero percent now it's gonna single out this right here it's gonna single out that frequency right there pull it down see how that frequency just goes away so let me suppress that Like this frequency right here, so I'm gonna cut out some of the mids. I don't want it completely gone though, so I'm gonna raise it a little bit. I just don't want it to be piercing. Here's how it was. Half time. Nice little balance of high and low. Alright, so let me know how you guys are feeling about that beat. We're about to get into the drums right now. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jayco over 50 million streams. Work with niggas like Chucky, Squilla, G Herbo, Meek Mill, Boss from Richie, J. Breezy, La Double O, a whole bunch of other rappers. Dropping an exclusive producer community. If you want to be a part of that, the link to that is in the description. It should be in the pinned comments too. Whole lot of game, whole lot of value in there. Group, weekly calls with me and other like minded producers that's ready to come up. Full blueprint course on how to go full time as a producer. Everything that you need to know and everything in between. Get free access to my drum kits that I'm going to drop, free access to my loop kits that I'm going to drop, FLPs, get access to my VSTs, contact banks, all of that, and just a whole bunch of other game in there too. So make sure you guys want to join up on that. The link to that is in the description. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Drop school in the comments, man. Drop school in the comments.
straight to the drums. This is how I mix my drums, right? So when I mix it, I like to turn the melody down. As you can see, the melody is down here. Now, it's not gonna stay down here. I just like to focus on the drums, make sure the drums, because when it comes to mixing, especially when it comes to like hip hop and drill music, the drums gotta be hitting, the drums gotta be punching. Um, bro, like that's one of the most important things. Like damn near the melody could be as, but as long as the drums is hitting how they're supposed to be hitting, an artist might still just hop on it. So I'm saying, so you want to prioritize prioritize the drums, make sure the bitches are hitting. So turn the melody down, start one by one. So I start with my eight away, I turn it up. Before I even do that, I usually throw a soft clipper on the master and then touch up the eight away. I usually like to look over here, make sure it's hitting around just above the zero decibels over here. Usually where I like to have my 808 sit. Like around there. You don't want it to be clipping, you don't want it to be punching too hard. You don't want to turn it all the way up, but you want to make sure that bitch hitting though. Nothing else on the 808. Down. Then the rest I just play by ear. That's what I'm saying. Depending on preference. On my snare, a little higher. They can want the zap a little higher too. Turn, turn the laser down. So not even look at none, don't even look at where the melody is hitting, none of that. Just close your eyes and then just let it rise and rise and rise until it sits right before it starts interfering with the 808. That's what I'm saying? Because like I said, you want the drums to sit on top. So that's why it's a good rule of thumb to just let your melody rise, 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 rise until you feel like it's right there before it gets too much and right before it starts interfering with the 808. That's what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you sure that's a melody yeah, yeah yeah so i'm just rising it little by little eyes closed not looking at nothing phone pop out the county but i watch she might break the jack this is big ass ball here's in this time we pray break the jack for sure jacob oh no 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 send it back send it back, send it back. Send it you back to juice i'm touching juice i don't know what the fuck is my city why do you want to get your team this is my city stop playing me what the fuck is the biggest 